Hello, everyone. Welcome to the introduction and the opening <laughs> of our puzzle labyrinth. I am Brian. That is my brother, Adam. We are the Factional Fight Brothers. We are celebrating today our opening, our grand opening labyrinth. Looks like lots of people have come to visit. I can't even count. Hello, Adam. Now that I can actually hear you with these headphones Hey, on. how's it going? How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> how many people have actually made it? We wow. have quite a lot of people in the in the Thank area you here. everyone for coming. Yes. I can't wait. I am secretly on another character and there's a good reason for that. The reason is Feyran can't actually go through the labyrinth because right. uh he would just get stuck because uh of the situation, the way that it's built. He, he would just not so, be able to follow anybody. How about we kick this thing off? Unlock I the doors and... Let's let's do it. I, I've waited... You know what? Last week we said, we've been saying it's been about three years since we started this labyrinth. It's been a very long time. Um, hello everyone in the, in the Twitch chat as well. Hey, Katzper, Jetson... Um, I definitely. Ah, Gaffer, you made it. Here. <laughs> How's it going, Gaffer? Um, Hello, how are abs you? absurdities. We got <laughs> Zilbar. We have a lot Plasm, of people. Drakeling. Hey, Drakeling. Catnip. Wow, lots of people. Let's here. do it. We Let's are opening do it. it up. Did you already <laughs> open it up? Nope. Here we go. Three, okay, two, three, one. Two, one. The labyrinth is now open. You know what? I think it's been more like four years. Yeah. Closer to four years than I say three years. Uh, yeah. So everyone run in. Look at them all. Everybody. The yes. If this is the way, I don't know. Maybe that sign that says the labyrinth is the other way is the correct one. Huh? The labyrinth is this way. Sign the puzzle king. But everyone's going that way. <laughs> Um, okay, so just so that everybody's aware that's in, in there right now or planning on doing it later, there's no time limit. You don't get anything extra for finishing it first. So enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Read the signs. Get through it. Uh, you know, have fun. Feel free to help each other. This is not a comp competition. There is no, as as Brian said, there's no extra prize for coming first uh yeah i mean if that's nope. your style go through it but <laughs> for people that want to do it in their own pace feel free anyway mm -hmm. um there people are, are going in i am feeling feeling pretty good right about now there um, you go i just want to spend a little bit of time i think enjoying this moment and not staring at myself through this this, <laughs> ch this stream. I've been staring at you this entire time. <laughs> I've been sitting at a chair in a chair. <laughs> you look exactly done. like David Bowie. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know what you you. <laughs> you work with what you have. <laughs> that's, that's, that's basically. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Hey, can't you see those uh, okay. pronounced cheekbones? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so one thing that uh, we want to, we we definitely want to have uh, happen is if anybody is watching and you find that one of us is maybe too quiet or we're different volumes, we want to turn ourselves up without getting too loud. So. Definitely let us know in the chat whether we, we need to to get higher or not. Um, right. So the, the last stream, we were like way too quiet. So I think um, we both turned ourselves up. And if we if one of us is too quiet, let us know, please. Yeah. And, and people take pictures. I 
since we're streaming and we don't really have time to take the pictures, I'd love to have memories of this. Oh, uh, I should have taken <laughs> pictures. Hint, hint, Adam, <laughs> who's not the one streaming this. Uh, as people are noticing, there are... Uh, we did... So we built this whole thing over the course of like three or four years. Over the last few weeks, we've been working with Retro and the dev team to make it more special. And one of the ways that we did this was to make this place self-sufficient. So something that uh, Retro came up with was the ability to heal. So here's the first sign. It says, thank you very much, Jevin Eastham. I must have said that wrong. Eastham. Jevin Eastham. Uh, upon ex examining the statue, he felt better. What is this magic, Sir Puzzleton? So, what is it? You examine the statue, and you get healed. Ooh, I need some of that. Examine the statue. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> nice. Yeah. There are a few places in the labyrinth as you might have already experienced, where you will get a little bit hurt, and mostly just from falling damage, um, from falling from a, you know, a second story down to the bottom or whatever. Mm -hmm. These statues are placed randomly, and if you want to uh, you know, get rid of that damage, just examine. We also got um, a few fountain, or yeah, fountains, water mm -hmm. uh, areas put in, so uh, hopefully you brought your water skins. Uh, or buckets or whatever but and, they come uh, later in the uh, labyrinth so definitely notice at the very beginning of the labyrinth before you enter it there is a fountain so if you do find yourself back at the beginning definitely fill up <laughs> mm -hmm. you can all right so i am on a character um that is not to be named so that i can come in through with you uh <laughs> not to be named how will we know which one is you I don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah one one big issue was that the mayor of the deed um, can pass through even locked um, mine doors and that's a problem Ooh. <laughs> uh, for for if he, if Brian wanted to follow everybody there's a lot of locked mine doors that you guys are going to be walking over. And, um, and yeah, Brian would just fall right into them. <laughs> and I just lose you. Uh, so, yeah, this is fun. So something that I've always said, I think, over the last few years, I can't wait for this labyrinth to be open just to be able to follow people. And now look at this. <laughs> There's so many people. Now the uh, question I'm, is, I'm who this. do I follow? <laughs> who do I follow? I follow. <laughs> we're following uh, right now. Oh, if I'm too close. Ozimus. We're by you, Ozimus. <laughs> what are we going to do up here? I don't know. We're going to go. And I'm following over. this well dressed group of people. Wow. That must be a full Serral suit. <laughs> we're going back down. That's what we're doing. <laughs> oh. So, I noticed that you had been putting a few um, things into our document that I we have. haven't touched in a while. You know what? Okay, yeah. So Worm had an update. I don't know if you want to start there while well, people are going on. I mean, we we could, okay. yeah, for sure. Like, I think I think you don't really want to. Okay, what do you want to talk about? No, that's what I. I <laughs> all all I'm saying is that uh, we have a few things to talk about. At least it it was not. You know what? I what okay, we play Worm so much. <laughs> we play like, and we all do. We all play Worm so much that while I'm like going to sleep often I'm thinking about worm in whatever ways I don't know thinking about what to do in the game you know our deed uh, a lot of it has uh -huh. been the labyrinth uh, so the other night I was I was 
thinking about where I'm before sleeping, like lying in bed, and I thought of these this idea, and I, and I thought, uh, if I don't write this down, I'm going to forget about this. Like, it was good enough for me to, like, pick up my phone and essentially just email myself or send myself a message. Mm-hmm. So I did, and uh, that's what I think you're reading in there. Yeah. Although I did add a couple things, um, but I noticed you had quite a lot in there, so I'm like, sweet, I don't have to plan that much. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to plan? I, ju I just want to follow people. <laughs> Anybody yes, finding anything in there? Would that make a, an exciting stream? I mean, we would love to go back and watch that, but uh, will other people like to just watch other people go through the <laughs> labyrinth? <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to just watch other people go through the labyrinth for three hours and not talk it at all. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> One thing that I'm going to have trouble with, do we want to show how to get through it in this stream? Huh. I don't know. I, I I think we should try to keep the mystery as long as possible. You know, there's there are people who are going to be wanting to go through it tomorrow and the next day and... All right, I'll try to... I, I don't know how you guys feel uh, that are on the stream and maybe not in the labyrinth yet. I can make it spoiler free. So I can turn off the camera, uh, the gameplay, during the times that I need to catch up to people, if that hmm. makes sense. Or do your thing where you like look down at the ground and up at the sky and down <laughs> at the ground. <laughs> like I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So I love these bridges. Being able to look down at people. So I was. I was. Um, so one of the things that I thought of. Okay. When I was run when I was sleeping, uh, was. You mean in a dream? It was sort of like just before a dream. Oh, okay. And I was and I was thinking about the placement system that we have now. So, uh, and it's exactly the what you would expect it to be, which is, you know, right click an item. Right click an item, place, and then it appears in the world. Of course, I can't do it now because I'm on a character that you're not allowed to do it. And right. you place an item uh, on your mouse cursor and you can move it around and you just place it. And then I thought, what would happen or would it make sense if you could do that for placing, you know, fences or mm. placing walls? Like you mean fences or, and walls would not be tied to tile borders? No, it would be tied to tile borders, but in to place it you'd be like oh i want to build a you know a, a stone fence and you click okay. you select stone fence and then you go up to a tile border and like a green uh what what is that what is it called a tree a green transparent or translucent image of what it would look like appears on your mouse and you you select where you want and then you just click and then it starts the process ah Interesting. And you could do that with, uh, let's say, building houses. So even planning houses could be that way. Uh, planning walls, or sort of building the walls, the wall type. Okay. Maybe the mouse wheel could scroll through the different types of fences. Interesting. That's an interesting. But like, but all of a sudden. It, it, so more importantly, it's this. It's it's uh, the the selection or the sequence of events that a user would have to go through in order to decide or to to get a fence down on the ground. So what do they think? They go, I want to build a fence. What kinds of fences can I build? Oh, I can build these kind of fences. Where okay. do I want to build it? Oh, I want to build it here. Now I can build it, right? Does that make sense? Because right now it's kind of more like, where can I build it 
first and then sort of actually it's sort of like this you figure out what you kind of want ahead of time so okay out of the game and then you find and then in the game you find the spot that you want it to be and then after you find the spot then you pick what you want to put there i see All right that's sort of how it I works mean, in this game yeah, yeah okay so what, um, so is that is it, so what what i would have been proposing was first it's like you plan it you, you choose what, what you choose what you, you want, want and then you plan where you want to put it. Where, uh, so it just changed the order. Correct. Interesting. Um, I'm not sure if that will improve the efficiency of building, but it might help with like the creativity because then, because it, it, we all in our minds have an idea of what we want first. So then choosing what we want first might be just more natural. Yeah. Is that bell something? What is that bell that I'm hearing? Anybody know what that bell is? That is not something that I put into the lab. <laughs> okay. So somebody's carrying a bell with them, probably. Because <laughs> if that is an item and you can ring a bell, I would like one, please. Uh, <laughs> is there such an item as a bell? Like just a handheld bell? I've never heard of one. <laughs> It's oh, a small there it bell. Yeah. There it is. It yeah. is a small bell. So something that they added to the game that eluded me. You know what I found out recently is that, you know, the, the bell tower? Mm -hmm. De depending on the quality of the bell tower, yeah. it gives a different tone. A different tone? Like in what way? Like a different note. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. <laughs> So you could, I, and I'm not sure what the, like, if it's like by 10 qualities, each 10 quality or something like that gives a different note, but you could line up a whole bunch of bells of different quality and like play a song. That's interesting. I yeah. wonder how they get that quality difference or when the quality changes. So where exactly does the quality need to be in order to get the different sound? Yeah, I don't know. I I only heard it. Somebody was telling me, um, I think it was Kilroth. He had a couple set up that were different quality and he was in, in local and he was just telling me like, do you hear a difference between these two? And he would ring them. <laughs> and yeah, like they, they technically guys. sound like they're from the same, I don't know, let's say, bell sound file but yeah yeah both of the... different I well know, i'm not sure i'm not tones. sure if it's the same file or whatever i have no idea to be honest <laughs> yeah, that's interesting what yeah. i'm back at the start <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, maybe a slightly wrong turn there. So Catsper is having trouble finding the teleport in New Spring. I have a feeling that it's a Did sign, it... like one of those GM signs. Um, it might look one of, like one of those recruitment boards. Yeah, I think at least the one here looked like that. And it yeah. said something like, and, so I don't know what it says now, but it was saying before that it would only be turned on at, some time or something. Couldn't, can't quite remember what it said. Uh, although I did see the message. Oh, that's really bright. In the event chat, saying that teleports are now open. Okay, I see. you know what's funny is that, and I hope nobody's following me trying to find the way, because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 I've never solved this. Um, yeah, I've never solved this. But... Yeah, that isn't that funny. <laughs> he built it. <laughs> I built it. <laughs> he never solved it. <laughs> and just for retro that uh, has just joined, Brian is taking a break today. The hosts today are Adam and the Puzzle King. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> what? I'm back at the beginning. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. 
the other problem is that I on this account I can kind of cheat because there's some gates that are locked that I can go through. Yeah, so you're gonna try your best not to go through them. Huh? To be honest, I don't even know which ones are locked. And which all of ones them are hard. locked. I'll assume all of them are locked. Yeah. <laughs> assume all of them are locked. I don't think there's one that should be unlocked. There we go. The way forward is sometimes the way back. Ah, I saw a sign. Oh. I found Tristan and Electris. They're going the opposite <laughs> way of me. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, I... we're, we're don't heading... follow me. I don't know Happy where I'm mermaid. going. <laughs> Heading into the hedge part of the maze. Ooh, the hedge part of the maze. Oh. Oh, oh, look at that. There's the token. Now, on the character that you're on, though, you, you t do... I don't have, have any You ability. don't have anything. Yeah, right, you're like the, the same as everybody else. Correct. Hmm. Now, when we get to the second part, I could probably switch back. Now, I did hear of a way and I, I should have mentioned this to you before to see if you could figure it out before the stream, but nonetheless, um, I think it was Buddha who mentioned that mm -hmm. there's a way to get our Twitch chat into the IRC pin in-game. Mm. We'll have to think about that maybe for uh, for next stream. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to have to take off this wig at some point because I'm getting really, really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe I'll just drink some water. Uh, oh, I'm curious to know oh, if anybody's here. found their way to the city yet. With this many people running through randomly, you'd figure. How am I back at the beginning Has again? Figured anything out? <laughs> I don't know. Now that I'm not am paying back attention. At Where am I going? Uh -huh. I am back at the beginning. A six-foot Rapunzel wing wig. <laughs> That's now it. Is that, that sounds a, play? a little bit too long. <laughs> six-foot Rapunzel. I'm assuming uh, that's I, the play uh, <laughs> that you're in there. I found Samuel and Banco just went in the. Just, I think they're on the right path. I can't get there though Think because they're I'm on the right path. What stuck. path? Um, they're to the right of the beginning building. Oh, right to the beginning building. Huh. Like if you if you as you come out the beginning building, they're just to the right of it. Interesting. You know, to the side of the building. Mm. I, I can't get there, but I can see that they're there. I have Drakeling here. Reading a sign hidden in this forest part of the labyrinth. I wonder uh, what does I the sign what say? That sign says, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm why I'm back at the beginning. I'm in that front uh, entrance hallway again. Ooh, what's this? Doing a little climb right now, I see. Can't how see do I, anything. How do I get there? <laughs> hmm. Hey, class and my friend, we are back at the beginning together. Huh. <laughs> what is going on here? So this whole building idea that you had. Yeah. It would be like. So let me get this straight. It's like if you were to want to build something, how would you choose what it is that you want to build? Like what what would be the mechanism for choosing that? 
Oh, look at this. All these people down here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mint. Like you had mentioned something about like scrolling the wheel, but can like I there's just so many items to go through. Uh so I like how would you select the item? Yeah, let's That's say I'm, I I want to build a wooden fence. I still think fence. there would need to be like a building menu or something. Mm. Yeah. See, it doesn't get rid of the need for like a, the building, the crafting window or something mm. like that. Mm. Right. Now, here's a question about the labyrinth. Although you could change the crafting window or make it minimal. Okay. That's, yeah. So here's a question about the labyrinth. Yep. I know we dug this whole area down to rock. Mm-hmm. Um, so the area that everybody's in right now. Just like that, we dug it right down to the rock. And then there's some areas that are paved. So are you able to pave right onto the wooden, right onto the wood? Or not on I mean, the wood, sto the stone, the I mean stone? the stone. No. Yeah. Okay, so you had to put it like so one dirt down One dirt. One dirt. That is the solution. All right, so nice. guys, as people are going through it, I am going to be spoiler free for you guys and uh, log back into Fair Uh as I do this. So you're going to see a black screen for a bit. You're going to log on to Fair Yeah, I'm sure people are are maybe not close, but it's it's getting tough to not show. If that makes sense. Right. That makes sense. Um, oh, yeah. What's this? But but if you could show me, right? Because... <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you want to know how to get through? <laughs> what? I want to eat some cake. I did find the sign that says that Sir Puzzleton said something to the effect of, I hear echoes underneath labyrinth i just can't seem to find it and that's my exact feeling right now <laughs> how do i get under you do not understand how many mine entrances we had to make in this small little area i think there's about 30 of them <laughs> it's true what there's am like i 30 and mine entrances i can't find one i found like the two at the beginning <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to run through the labyrinth now. Sorry. All right. So I'm going to do it in a way that people can't see where I am. Ah, I found a way into the mines. And you here did? I am with Explora and Jack Jones and <laughs> Arthur Hawking. Yes, we are in the same spot. Now... Huh. All right, I'm turning my game capture back on. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I got a yellow potion and I drank it. And I turned into a goblin. <laughs> which is, which is uh, kind of funny. So now huh. I'm going to go through the mines. I'm just going to run around as a goblin. <laughs> oh. Let's see if I find Ooh. anybody down here. Let's see if I have any yellow potions. I do. I have fourteen Kinda yellow potions. Very quiet down here. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the goblin is very fitting Sorry. for the labyrinth. <laughs> yeah. Is there supposed to be a sign at every starter town on every freedom server? Only Xanadu. 
That's a question. Okay, so it's Xanadu only. I, I, there was a lot of people asking that, and I didn't know the answer. Um, mm -hmm. I had figured it was only Xanadu. Right. Oh, hey, Catsper. Glad you finally made it. Yeah. Welcome to the labyrinth. Woohoo! I made it to the, um, what is this? The deed token. Oh, you made it to the deed token? Nice. Uh, <laughs> And I am here with Arthur Hawking and Jack Jones. Yes, we all entered and came in the same spot. Nice. You can work together. Well, I'm, I'm sort of following them. Oh, I fell into a mine. Okay, oh, I think that's the only way I can go. Oh. Uh, or I could fall into the wrong mine. So I was right, reading a post go. on the forums uh, the other day, and it reminded me of um, why I love this game so much. It had to do mm -hmm. with the archaeology uh, skill. And um, let me see if I can find it so I can give credit to the person who started it. I think it was Angelkind. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And it just reminded me of, like, our experience with the at least our so far experience with the archaeo archaeology system yeah and we've been yeah. uh we've been definitely playing around with it with that finally after uh how long has it been out i know Since it's been forever fall we, i mean we did the video that announced it when we were streaming last and yeah so he, he was saying that he just wanted to he, he was just like exploring or whatever mm -hmm. and he decided he found an area that was a you know an obvious fallen deed and he decided you know let's just may as well start this so he got himself a he mailed himself a metal brush and a trowel and started the whole process of archaeology and next thing he knows he's like you know exploring his old stomping ground for all the deeds that he used to know in the area mm -hmm. that have fallen and just exploring the area and um you know he he i mean i could read a little bit of this he says the first settlement i discovered was port of jericho i don't have much information about it yet just a name but i will continue working on it i can't remember anything about port of jericho so it seems to be from before my time after a little more time searching the area, I got another hit for Windy Shores. Now that settlement, mm. I remember. It was an open deed that was under construction when I lived in the area that annoyed me immensely because it would trap horses that wandered into its deed. Like, just, you know, like he's exploring the old area and it's bringing back memories of him living in that area. And, you know, it just gives me that feeling that I want to now go back to our old stomping grounds on Delhi and, and do some exploration i've been wanting to do that for so long mm -hmm. so maybe that's something that we're gonna have to do soon i think we should do it very soon definitely uh i'm wanting to go there i want to see what it looks like you know it's been four or has it been more than four years since we've been there it's been t since 20 14 let's say the beginning oh somebody's made it out oh who is it who's in the i who hear made the it bell. to the city <laughs> congratulations yeah maybe i don't know if it's the first person there but the first person to ring the bell whoever <laughs> you are we are 34 minutes in <laughs> and the first person made it out the front area Ah. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Huh. I did take a yellow potion. I'm trying to figure out what I look like. You just open up your uh, character screen. And ah, right. 
Right. Yes. Oh my goodness. I look like a a, a demon of soul. I have never seen that before. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. All right. I'm going to Here is Drakeling and Jestonix. So where are you in the labyrinth? I am. So I popped out and there were four statues. Mm -hmm. A horse, a demon, a troll, and a nymph. And this is right after getting to the... So I was, I was with the, what do we call the D-token? And then I went into a mine and I came out here. And I'm just hanging out here while I watch people go by. Ah. I figured it out. I have to pick a sprout and fashion it into a gate lock pick. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a lawnmower to make a path through the hedges. But you know what? With, back to the archaeology thing I have really like we were just Hello. around this area in rocks area and just going to the deeds that we I kind of remember being around in the area and I'm having a lot of fun searching for and finding statue fragments tool fragments that I know that you know you can get tool fragments and combine them and get what do you call them the uh, mm -hmm. ruins and enchants on them yeah so I'm I'm getting really excited, and it didn't take that long too. I, I feel like the skill, the the skill gain goes pretty quick. Mm. How are you finding the skill gain there? Uh, I think it does go really quick, and I'm really enjoying. I'm really enjoying the skill in general, and it has made me really want to go back to our old places, and just do archaeology over there uh, it's made me want to learn about the deeds that have kind of been on our area or around our area that we used to be in many years ago if that makes yeah, sense I, I totally agree in terms of so absurdity, absurdities asks is it rewarding um, and I think, I think it is. So to begin with, you get the, like, even from the start, uh, I was getting statue fragments, maybe one out of every 50, uh, shards would be, a, a statue fragment. I, I feel like the frequency will go up as I get higher level or as I find older deeds and, um, those statues are unique. Like you can't make them. So there's a statue of a mountain lion and a statue of a rift beast and a statue mm -hmm. of a guard. Um, I think I also got one more. And there's probably a few others that I haven't gotten yet. Um, in addition, I think you can get masks, like, you know, face masks. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. But that's, like, much later when you're higher level and you have to go to really old deeds. Um, I also know, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that if you find a spot that had more than one deed on it, you know, in the history mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of that area. If there's been more than one deed on it, you have a higher chance of getting better items from that spot. All right. So if you're watching the stream, just, just so I can, I've got four uh, people yes. here. We've got Samul, Banco. No, I can't even just in a, in a barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Jones, Jetsonixi, Jetsonxi. I can't. I, he's moving too fast. Um, oh, and now, Timetheus. And they are at this. Let's say crucial moment in their <laughs> puzzle labyrinth adventure. Yes, this is a crucial moment. It 
reminds me of that moment in the essentially in the movie. Yeah, when there's a sign the here. Says basically says one way leads to the castle, and the other to certain death. Which way <laughs> will you go? Yes. And if I must say, the consequences for going the wrong way is quite bad. <laughs> certain death. <laughs> it's pretty much as bad as certain death would be. Oh, and there's somebody looking. Oh, they're probably on the uh, <laughs> the bridge there. They look like they're flying. More dag looks like he's flying, but he's probably just on the bridge. <laughs> Arthur Hawkwing. A large wooden sign. The city mocks me. I hear echoes underneath the labyrinth, but I cannot find my way there. <laughs> so I kill one of the guards I... and ask the other what happened. Oh, some people made it. Made it where? Oh, the bell. I the hear bell. it. bell. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm in an area where something is making it really bright. What is making it so bright? Did over anybody here? place anything down like a light source? <laughs> I think I think that's what it is. Okay, somebody placed a light source here. Yeah. Maybe it's um light token. All I know is that it's super bright here. I see Drakeling in the wall. You didn't do that, Drakeling, did you? Oh, it is Drakeling. <laughs> Drakeling is the light source. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> well, at least it looks like it. You got a very powerful light source there, my friend. Fabricant's going to make his crucial decision. Do you make a decision or he's looking out there? I don't know. Is the game lagging? I think the game's lagging. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. it's lagging for me too. Yeah. It's this backup lag. It's about that time. Uh, so that's okay. Um, yeah, I was I was going to talk about something, but the labyrinth just keeps taking over. <laughs> yeah, has anybody beat it yet? I mean, it's oh, possible, well. but... Uh, the first person to ring that bell just happened like 10 minutes ago. Maybe really? 15 minutes ago. I thought it was a little while ago now. Has it been? Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe not. If maybe the it's person knew... Ex <laughs> I think if the person knew exactly what to do and just went straight for yeah. it, beelined it, yeah, maybe. Well, <laughs> for the people that are still in the labyrinth and are still in the... Uh, labyrinth portion what would you consider that part the uh, as far as part, like... the percentage of complete complete completedness that they are through the labyrinth you mean if they're if they finish the front area correct mm, it's not quite half i don't think it's quite half and it depends on because the the puzzles start getting different. The yeah. front area is a lot of just like a maze, whereas the back area, yeah, mm -hmm. not so much a maze. Um, yeah. Now I can't remember the order of these statues. <laughs> so you're at the order of the statues, mine, area. Yeah. Yeah, statue mine area. How many people have made it here? 
All right, so we still have Fabricant uh, kind of making his choice. <laughs> like it's still black. I don't know. If, okay, there. There you go. I turned it off. Yes. Well, I'm, you know, you can keep it on until you know. Um, I'm thinking about going move. into. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? How many people are in the? Uh, how many people are in the in the city? Do you think? How many people in the city? Yeah. Well, it did hear the bell twice. <laughs> Casper, gosh, I can see the castle over the hedge so close, <laughs> but so far. Yeah, I think I think at that point, Casper, you're you're still a little ways away, which is okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that you know that was part of the design well of this place. Done. We wanted it so that at every moment or at a lot of moments in the experience, you see the place you want to go and you're like, I need to get right over there. I just can't figure out how to get over well there. Done. <laughs> <laughs> so let me turn this back on. Uh, here, here's somebody to follow. I'm going to follow Hosef in hopes that he remembers which statues to go. So I am following. Oh, I I just want to follow somebody through the uh, through the city part so bad, but I feel like I'm just going to be getting giving away too much. I don't know what it is. I wish you were the one that was streaming this. <laughs> <laughs> well, just follow. I, well, I see what you're saying that that you will be giving away. There's Samuel. I don't know. I think we should just go straight to the castle. Yeah, you should go see. Are you you're on Feyran now, right? Yeah. So you can always go back through a. Oh, that's right. I could follow people, but I can. Uh... You can skip a few. I can skip because I can go through <laughs> these locked doors. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going through this door because you don't see me. All right. Um, is anybody in here? No, I have reached the new puzzle. You were telling me about this new puzzle. But I have not yet experienced it. Which, which puzzle? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can say that one. Just say it. The nymph turns around once with a smile on her face, turns around again so she can see her place, turns around thrice more, will show her the way. Hmm. And I am going to here. I'm going to trust Hosef as he is attempting to solve this <laughs> riddle. I'm just going to follow people. And I'm just going to follow him. We'll see what happens. Osif, I'm counting on you, buddy. Thank you for the follow. Woohoo! How did you see that we got a follow? In our stream. Oh, I see, because you're logged you into go. the Factional Fight stream, so you see it. Ah, there it is. The first sign that in, in front of the castle, please go away, no visitors allowed. Signed, Nogbog. Hey, Tonray. Thanks for the follow. Oh, just Stonix has made a decision. Hmm. <laughs> Is it a correct one? It looks like Hosef is following just Hmm. Who's that? That's Banco has made it into the residential area along with somebody else that I just saw slightly that I couldn't see their names. So what do you think of this, uh, the new update? Like, I mean, we, we oh. streamed yes, we streamed last uh, week and we talked a little bit about some of the new stuff that has come in since the last time, but there's so much to cover, like way too much content since the last time we streamed mm -hmm. to cover. 
And then between then and now, they come up with another update that just has a whole bunch of other stuff to talk about. <laughs> All right. So why don't you? We are, we are so far behind. Why don't you just <laughs> tell me the highlights? The highlights. Okay. Hi. Made it to the the two the two ways. One way leads to the castle, and the other to certain death. Ooh. Although I lost my friends who I was following. Oh, there's Josef. I'm going to follow you. You seem to be um, guiding me correctly. Yeah, so if I don't know if anybody's just joining recently to our stream or hasn't followed us for a while, but we just released our Labyrinth. Uh, people are going through. Lots of people are, are, are going through. If you're wanting to attempt it, there is teleports. And there's a thread somewhere on the forums explaining the process. Uh, if you yeah. win, if you make it to the end, you will get this item right here the puzzle yeah, it's not, king's crystal ball it's not if you win it's if you yeah you make, you make it to, it the, to end. the end that's you, you can be you can be last place and make it to the end and you get the same item right. as it's not a race if not a you race make it to the end <laughs> and you beat the adventure you will get this item that you can place into your house that looks oh, like this retro it's you the are puzzle so right. king's crystal ball where is the where is the correct place to post our stream on Discord? Is it just the Worm Chat channel? Oh no, it's the Valray Entertainment. There it is. Okay. Just note, you can only get one. Although you can do the labyrinth as many times as you'd like. You get uh, one per. Is it for character? The labyrinth will remain open for quite a while, so you don't have to worry about rushing here if you don't want to. Uh, but yeah, if you have the time, come on over. It'd be a really, really nice adventure. I am trying my best, guys, not to show anything <laughs> <laughs> which makes this really boring uh, some people have described this puzzle or this labyrinth as a nightmare I'm not going <laughs> to name names uh, others have described it as an adventure and I think no matter how you look at it, whether you think of it as a nightmare or whether you think of it as uh, an adventure, uh, come in, come on over and uh, work your way in and, and, and have some fun. Because either way, it's always going to be fun. Oh, so back to the topic that we had an hour ago when when I was falling asleep okay. so the second thing that I was thinking of and I don't know I got these two ideas at the same time so the first one was like switching up the order like a building to make it more sense so that you could uh, kind of blueprint your deed in the game sort of thing uh, right okay, the second yeah. thing was now that we have the new engine the graphical engine in the game. Okay. They should make it so that items have a different hue or a different kind of sheen or something depending on its quality level. So therefore, okay. if you had a low quality fence, it would look Okay, it low quality fences, no wait, damaged fences already look like damaged, but low quality fences should have kind of like a grimy, you know, uh, darker tone or texture, I should say hue, than like a really high quality fence could have like a slightly brighter, more shinier type of look. And okay. they could do that to all the items. Like make it nice and clean and, and uh, you know, yeah, I can see that. that that'd be cool. Uh -huh. Problem is, is that you're gonna have to take into account all the different types of textures that are out there, and probably tweak it for each one. 
you know, like wood textures might have to be adjusted to look nice in one way, and stone textures might have to look nice in a different way. Oh, yeah, you'd you know? have to go through every single... <laughs> You'd have to go through every single, uh, I don't know, item individually, I would say. But you wouldn't need a different texture, right, like we have now with damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and this would be applied True. to shaders for quality levels in particular and not damage levels. Uh, we could also have shaders for the damage level as well. And yeah. so this is one argument or, or debate topic that I knew would have a discussion because here's a problem with that. You have 50 fences, the trouble of making them all look exactly the same. Ah, uh, yeah. That's right. Is that going to be a problem for you? Do fences, uh, do fences lower in quality fast enough? For you to mm. have to maintain them on like a monthly or something basis. So here's or, the thing. It, it, okay. Mm. Or, Do they stay the same? You go, you build it. Uh, let's say now that I have the skill, every time I make a fence, it's going to end at a particular quality. Let's say 50 quality or 60 quality. So if all of my fences end sort of similar way they'll all look sort of the same and then if you wanted to improve them to make them look a little bit better or uh, you could have an area of your deed that looks more grimy looks worse and then an area of your deed that's more pristine that's like the rich people's house now, okay so i see a problem with this let's 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 say i want to make a grimy looking area but my skill is really high, so when I make a fence, it comes out at 60 quality. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you'd have to have a mechanism to create the low level. But, okay. Uh, so have a currently, mechanism. It, currently, it's really hard to, like, imp... I wouldn't say hard, but it's just a tedious task. If you have tons of walls or tons of fences, and you want to imp them all up to, like, 80, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, that's an insane, insane job. So there's going to be like I, I don't know I, I can see the 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 advantage of like the benefit of having a system like this where different quality fences look different for example but I can see it also being more tedious than it's worth you get what I mean so you would remove the customization that you could have with your deed because you feel it would be too tedious. Unless there was a, a way, you know, to to forcibly make a lower quality fence or to control the outcome of what the quality of the fence would be when I create it. Um, so if there was a nice way of doing that, I could see it being... Uh, to cap the level of, of an item or building yeah. it. How about if there was I, a way? If there was a way, then then it might make it nicer. And if there was a way to get rid of the tedium... So I'll all it drink. would take to buy you into the system is a mechanism uh -huh. that you can say, I would like to cap items that I'm creating right now to 10 quality. And you'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably do it. So Drakeling has made his choice. Of which Don't tell me which way, but Okay. Tell me if it was the right choice. No, don't tell me if it's the right choice. Well <laughs> if he's, he's watching. He's about, he's about to discover whether it was the right or wrong choice. Alright, right, tell me after he discovers. And he has made the right choice. Oh congratulations. So, yes. if anybody's watching that that is uh, also doing the labyrinth right now, um, who has made the wrong choice? 
<laughs> as yeah, has anybody made that wrong choice right at the end <laughs> of the of the lap of the maze area? I'm curious to know. I'm curious to see uh, a few people's progress, and I'm trying to figure out what the best place would be to find where people are without giving anything away. Oh, you mean the the the, um, the how far the farthest person is? Well, maybe not the furthest person. So, so I can go through fences and doors that people can't. So, if you are near me or anything like that, and uh, you're trying to you follow me, you won't be able to make it through. Uh, uh, I see an, I see an Enki has just arrived. He has really? just entered the labyrinth. Hey, Enki. At the very beginning. Yep, right at the beginning. <laughs> all I've been making all along is the wrong choices. And here's the <laughs> issue. Um, it doesn't get easier. <laughs> there are moments in the labyrinth where you make a wrong choice and then you make it back and you're like, oh, I'm at the beginning again. And then you get further and you can still make that wrong choice deeper in that leads you back all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. yep. It's not just one big choice. There but, are numerous big choices. But you're talking about just the front area. Like the I'm talking about the area, whole right? labyrinth. No, but, but there's no, like, once you make it to the, the city. Okay. Once you make it you, to the city, you are at least not able to go to go back right i think the city is like a checkpoint once that you get to the city is a, a big checkpoint yeah once you get to the city and you'll, at that point you won't have to go paths, back to the lab yeah all paths lead back to the city right that's true uh, actually unless and remember the city is only let's say 40 percent complete what do you mean by that you're about 40% complete oh, when you make right. it to the city. Right. When you make it to the city, there's about 60% left. But, okay, here's another question. Is the castle another checkpoint? Or can you be, like, far into the castle and all of a sudden pop out back into the city? Okay, the castle is another checkpoint. Okay, okay, that's that's nice. Okay, so once you make it to the, ca the puzzle city then you can't go back to the beginning again. Yeah, we're not and... that harsh. I mean, we're saying that it's like really bad, but it's a labyrinth. Once you make yeah. it to the city, it actually does become easier in the sense that it's easier to get back to where you were once you figured it out. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, and I think that same same with the labyrinth. Once you make the wrong choice a bunch of times, you kind of figure out what the right choice is and you can make it back there kind of quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing that they put into the game in the last week, so highlight. Okay. The mappings on buildings, building walls. So like the uh, the normal yes. mappings, and is there a specular map on the walls? I don't know if anybody knows that. Uh, but I know that the normal mapping is actually there because you can see the light reflecting off of this, wo this wall and making it look like it's not flat from this right. angle. This is a perfect angle on my screen. Um, I love the pottery brick. I love the it. Pottery it looks, looks amazing. So good. I think that's my favorite now. Like yeah, sandstone was close before, but now it's just that that look. It it just looks so good. So I uh, we have a is that a question? I'm not 100 percent sure where the labyrinth actually is. The labyrinth is on Xanadu, near Vrock's Landing. If you're near any starter town on Xanadu, there's a teleport that'll lead you to Brock's Landing. And we are part of the the system, the uh, highway system. Yep. So just look up Puzzle Labyrinth and it will bring you here. Then you can start it up. Once again, when you finish, you can earn the Puzzle King's Crystal Ball. Here it is. No. Oh, there's my right click Zag menus are currently. Zagru has made a choice. The where you either choose the one way that leads to the castle and the other way leads to certain death. 
I'm not. Don't say anything. I'm. I'm just. I'm waiting for him to find out. That's what you can win. What can you win? If you beat the labyrinth. Oh. I would love to be able to go over to where Adam is right now and see <laughs> people making the choices, but then everybody then would know give it away. <laughs> right. what the real choice is. So don't. Uh... So instead, I'm staring at the item. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the item there. I didn't see that. No, I just dropped it. Oh, you... what? You have one? I have one. Yeah. How did you get one? I beat the labyrinth. Didn't I? <laughs> haven't I been saying that? You have to beat the labyrinth in order to get one. I beat the labyrinth oh, well, and I, I got one. I better start working on this. <laughs> You've just been slacking, like, <laughs> watching people go. <laughs> uh. Look at you go. I know. Um, <laughs> I just I feel so bad for all those people in the front half who are struggling yeah. away. Struggling and struggling. Not struggling. They're experiencing okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can teleport not to any starter uh not to any starter to village you can teleport to vrox particularly for this event yes okay so um retro had clarified something in our thread um that i was curious about so he he mentioned mm -hmm. that the teleports are going to be up for a little while but not forever so he definitely said about a couple weeks in, definitely get it yeah. in within the next few weeks will make it a lot easier but if you like the adventure of wandering through uh the world and finding our labyrinth within Zanadu, near rocks then you can come here pretty much anytime uh is there an end date currently there's not an end date right so have an adventure when you can uh so here's a question are the mappings on every single wall type now mm, i think so and i think fences too is it are they is on it, fences yeah are they it looks on like bridges so if you take a look there's a are tall stone fence right at the entrance of the city you go right to the entrance of the city, you'll see tall stone fences, and I, it does look like there's mapping, the normal map. Are they on roofs? Yes. If you take a look at the castle, the top of the castle, you can see, and it looks very much like it's on roof. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see that. I see here. That is hatching. amazing. Um, How are you awesome. seeing that? I barely see the roof. Um, well, if okay, so to, take a look just to your right to the potter. Just um, oh here, here, the, there we go. The yeah. Rendered, yeah, that the looks rendered, really good. Right? Yeah, like you can one. see it right there. Yeah. Uh, so, and the slate looks amazing. Fences? Slate. Are they on fences? Are they on fences? Well, I I think they. If you come over here to the tall stone wall, I wish I could see it on this pottery it. wall, but I can't. There's no uh, light. There, you oh, can see it, oh. as I said, right My at the end. The game just crashed, the... so... Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Go ahead and, and, and talk, but uh, my screen's going to be black for a while. Okay. When you log back in, come to the entrance of the city. And you uh, see you... the... Uh, well, on the as, long as, the, as long as the light lasts, you can see it there. Okay. Looks pretty good. So now, how about bridges? Bridges. That's a good question. There's some bridges back here, although they're in the shadow. Oh, they are on the bridges. Yeah. Nice. That is quite nice looking. Can barely see it. The sun is going down, but I'm coming. You can see it a little bit. This it, it it definitely made made a huge difference to the way the game looked. Yeah, there was there was just a like one day I was playing and I was just looking at the the marble just pavement, and I was just mm -hmm. watching 
like at certain parts of the day, maybe late in the day, you can see that glare off of the, the marble pavement, and it just looks great. Oops. Here, here, come over to the stables, the bridge that's next to the stables. There's still some light on it. And even just the whole bridge itself, like the planks on the bridge, just look, they look uneven, you know, like very, very nice looking. It's hard for me to tell on these. Yeah, the wood is a little bit harder to tell, but um, what about this stone bridge right that I'm underneath here? You can see the every so often one of the bricks will have a little uh, okay. shine so, on the top yeah, of it. Yeah, I see the shine like here and here. Yeah. Like all there, okay. Yeah. yeah. Looks beautiful. I do like that. So how are people doing? <laughs> now that I can't actually watch you, I yes, don't know I, where you guys are. I'm going to look out into the front area and just see how people are doing. Uh, oh, last time I looked uh, out here, there was lots of people going along the rope bridges. Hey, Wallex. Well done. I was talking to you. Um, earlier today. Walix is a local, mm -hmm. lives in the area. He's over by the sand, the, 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 the mini oh, desert. Hey, Walix. Our, <laughs> and uh, Casper wants to know, are the teleports working both ways? That That's a very good question. That's a good question, yeah. I would assume that it teleports you back to where you came from. If I'm not mistaken. Like, I, I kind of remember there was an event. This must be three years ago or so, two years ago. <laughs> there was an event up at Glass Hollow. They were having... It might have been an imp along. It might have been... I can't even remember now. All right. And... Because of it, they put those signs up at all the starter deeds, and I took the teleport to. I took a teleport all the way up there, and and it sent me back to where I came from. So, I think it does come back. We ha we have a we have an actual goblin, Buddha walking around. Uh, <laughs> I did see him on the on the stream, but I can't. Where did you guys go? Oh, there he is. Hey, Buddha. Huh. Well, I guess I'm looking back myself. Let's see if I have another one of those yellow potions. Well done. So I'm a pheasant. I can hide in what? this grass here. You'll never find me. <laughs> and what will happen if I use one of my? Uh... And that was a 100 quality potion, <laughs> and it turned me into a potions? pheasant. <laughs> Here's a potion. Okay, I am now a pot. Okay. <laughs> what quality was that potion? 100. Nice. See, I, I would have thought that the higher the quality, the, the more the better the chance that you'd turn into something not a pot. <laughs> <laughs> something not a pot. <laughs> I know. That specific. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the first... What is the goal of this uh, labyrinth? Uh, do we Good still question. need to say that? Uh, so the goal... The goal of the labyrinth is written on the sign at the very beginning, said by the Puzzle King, that you have to get your brother by making it to the castle and yes. beating the castle. I feel really tiny. Do you feel really tiny? I, I am very tiny. I, I'm tinier than you. 
Where are you? Just saw somebody running really fast. It was retro. <laughs> I do feel <laughs> retro is selling shortcuts for 50 silver. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel that I, I am, it would be very unfair for me in the back half because of my... You built the, uh, like... No, no, no. Ability to go through gates that are locked. Oh, I see. Yes. There's there's a lot of locked doors back here and a lot of lock, locked gates that... Yeah. Knowing that every gate is locked. Here's Retro's rainbowed colored armor set. You I'm just disgusting pig. <laughs> I'm just lost <laughs> in uh, in the enjoyment of watching people go through this place. Mm hmm. So you know another addition to the game that they added that is totally appreciated is that skills that are above ninety nine no longer get lost. Like they're safe from getting from death like if you die you won't lose those skills what do you think of that uh just relief <laughs> relief um i have lost i have lost skill from a 99 plus skill oh really which one uh my my blacksmithing oh this was a long time ago though um and i've since gained it all back and then some but but yeah, it's like devastating to lose 0.25 skill from a 99 plus skill. Devastating. Son of a and troll. Even though it's three times, like you get three times skill gain back, um, it's still, it's just devastating. It's true. So you have. Son of a troll. So you have no. Uh... I don't know, bad feelings or any kind of reason you don't you wouldn't want that change to have happened. No, I I love that change. I, I think that I think that this addition is it just makes people you know, it it's su as I said, it's such a devastating thing to happen to have a 99 plus skill lost due to death that mm. that to make them safe is just just yeah. It is a relief. Just a relief. Yes. <laughs> Buddha is now the rams. troll king. <laughs> is now the troll king. I've never yes. seen the troll king before. Look at that. Yeah. He has the troll king helm. Who's taking oh, pictures of this? <laughs> oh, I completely forgot I was supposed to take pictures. Somebody, the, the person that's supposed to be taking pictures, forgot he was <laughs> taking pictures. Conveniently. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I should. I should just. I should just <laughs> keep my uh, snipping tools open or something. Uh, I'm the worst at taking pictures, by the way. In in real life as well, you're the picture taker. Uh, I guess we didn't really think this one through. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you should have been the one streaming this. Yes, that would that would have taken quite a while to set it up. And here is That's true. Here is who is this? I, I don't I'm know gonna, who it is. I'm just gonna start taking some pictures for my benefit. Hopefully so it looks no like no somebody cares. has realized that they or took mines. the wrong way and is trying to find the way out of it. How are you? Uh -oh. I am sorry, but there is no way out. There is a way out. <laughs> I mean to say, you must. You must oh, take. I shouldn't be so You happy. must make or the should choice. I be happy? <laughs> <laughs> Once you've committed, be happy. Oh. notice I have a what? I have a crystal ball in my hand. Where? But in my hand, you <laughs> you'll see it. Okay, after the delay. Yeah, after the we, delay. We, we still have a um, delay on our uh, stream. Yeah, I, I didn't actually look into that. <laughs> <So>. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I don't have a crystal ball, and I was looking for one in the house, and uh, so this is this is basically just a. Uh, <laughs> one of those uh what do they call 
Marbles. <laughs> it's just uh, those balls that have the that you shake. Have those things oh, inside of it. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, I see. yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I hold it like this, it's now a crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> snow globe. Thank you. <laughs> it's a snow, snow globe. globe. <laughs> don't don't you? Was it? Was it you who had those yeah. dragon balls? No, I bought dragon balls. And, I guess. Uh, yeah. You gave them one. Yeah, it was a gift. Yes. Buddha is now a bag with a question mark on it if we right click you can we get stuff out of the bag <laughs> nope nope what's in your knapsack champagne can I steal it nope so as I was saying yes once you make a choice you have committed to that choice there is no way back ah <laughs> oh, yeah unfortunately um, so just because I, I'm doing nothing and, I, and I'm really proud of, of uh, this part of the labyrinth. So you make it to the castle and the sign says, please go away, no visitors allowed, signed Nogbog. Nog so your line Bog. of thinking would be to look at the fact that it's written by Nogbog. And when you're exploring the village, that you would see that there are little tiny houses One's named Bognog, and the other one's named Nogbog. They're going to be continuous characters in this side of the labyrinth. You go into Bognog's house, and the sign says, Bognog, you let all the horses out again in the stables, you Bognogglehead. You left the back door open again. P.S. I took your bed. Signed, Nogbog. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go into Nogbog's house, <laughs> He stole his bed and he put he put his bed in there. He, like no room to even move around. It's just two beds. <laughs> they don't even have floors. Uh, anyway, so what are these signs? They're designed to give you clues. If you like, I would say every single major choice can be solved with a clue that's somewhere in the labyrinth. We right. made sure of it. So if you're the type of person that is just going, skipping all of these like signs and not really and worrying about the story, you will make it to those points and you will make a guess and 50-50 chance you could be right. The problem is, is that there's many of these 50-50 kind of choices that are going to take or, place. Or one in four. <laughs> yeah, the chances are you're going to get one of them wrong at some point. Yeah. Right. Uh, if you find the clue, I feel like it makes it makes it a lot easier to get to the uh, to the end. It makes it a lot right. easier to know what's going on when you get to that that choice. Right. So you'll uh, see a clue yeah. that says something about let's say for example a chair. And then sometime later in the labyrinth, you will see another chair. And this will give you the clue to go that way, for example. Uh, yeah. And sometimes the clue's like right next to the choice. There's two ways to go, like we saw earlier. Here's the clue, you know, that will help you try to solve it. Uh, it could be a riddle like that. Or it could be part of the story like, like I just read. And it could be not close to where you, you kind of have to piece it together. That happens a lot more once you reach to the city, I would say. Right. There's a lot of clues that we placed around that will help you at some point in the future on your journeys. So keep the clues and the, in mind. Right. Somebody was saying they were getting something to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> It's and a good I idea. <laughs> good idea. Just jot down a few of these clues. Like that. One way leads to the castle. Huh. Well. There are still some people in the front <laughs> area. Think. Some people did arrive late. Um, mm -hmm. hey, over all right. Here. But yeah. 
that front let's, part is still let's check the castle one more time see if there's anybody running around yet anybody running around in the castle and want to admit it <laughs> uh, a couple characters in the labyrinth that you will come across of course you have sir puzzleton he is also on the journey with you uh, or ha went through it earlier and you're kind of reading his journal of his experience throughout uh, there is a nice ending to his storyline if people are uh, caring about him <laughs> also, I haven't quite, I haven't experienced that part yet. No, the there, Bognog and Nogbog are characters that we just read in the in the city. Um, they are. I, they will be reoccurring characters for a little while as you go through. For sure. Um, I think that Sir Puzzleton plays a bigger role, though, throughout the whole thing, because, of course, he's he's going through it like you guys. <laughs> I don't see anybody and don't see any lights in the castle quite yet, which is which is interesting. How long has it been so far since we started this stream? Uh, we went live about an hour and a bit ago, so yeah, I guess, guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it. it it should be close. Somebody, um, I would be surprised if somebody wasn't in the castle, considering right, so how we're, early we're in the magic building, the magical building of doors, and I do see some people here. Let's take the a magical look. building of doors. Yes, yes. So if somebody's in there, then and the reason there. it's called the magical building of doors is because there's um, there's a lot of doors, and uh, <laughs> it's very magical. I see you somehow so this procured. Is, Samul is inside the magic building of doors. So let's let's take a look and uh, yeah. let's watch him like you would watch someone playing golf in silence. <laughs> He's uh, stepping up to a door. <laughs> Son of a troll. <laughs> <laughs> And he has made his choice and fallen out one of the doors. I see you procured a corpse of an old champion ho huge spider. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to avoid it. <laughs> so when people get to that point, they're like, oh my god, that's a freaking huge champion <laughs> spider. Oh yeah, but anyway, the silence didn't last very long, did it? Nope. That would make for a boring <laughs> He did fall. He fell did into he? the, uh, let's call it the enchanted grass pit. Yes. Of yes. magic. Back into the building of doors. And he's decided to come back into the magical building of doors. Wait a minute. <laughs> We've got a Did, few more is that people door open? in here. Is that back door open? No, Defense? that back door's not open. No, no. Yeah, no, okay. It just Oof. looks like they're going through. Looked like he went through, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, he should not be able to go through there. All right, so we've got Banco, who has fallen to the bottom level Yeah, we have had to build a, a few, uh, a few. Oh, natives. and it looks like he's got wounded, and uh, so he's bandaging himself up. Uh, there's, sh there. Where are those um, statues? I've seen that first one. Mm -hmm. First, I haven't seen another one yet. There's one at the beginning. Yep there's one when you make it to the city just okay. before so that's the main one because oh. as I said before all roads lead to the city 
you not mean, all roads. A lot of the roads lead road. back to the city, <laughs> and then you can go back to that one and heal yourself if you need to. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Okay, I found it. Ah, oh, there's some people who made it. Mint and Lovage. Mint and Lovage. Congratulations. You have made it past the first checkpoint. And okay, Pags, so Pagsu, yes. We have people... Wondering what to do, which door will they pick this time? <laughs> uh oh, somebody died in the maze. There was there? I didn't see the death tab come up. Although it looks like Tamet has logged out. Yep. And it also looks like there's a little slight lag happening at this moment. Yeah, that's okay. Right, that means you. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, that's okay. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to take a picture. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Took my picture of you guys struggling through the magical door, the magical building of doors. So Justonic says, I had to restart the maze because I died. Huh. Did you die in the maze? Hmm. Okay, so this is the backup lag. Then what was the last lag? <laughs> the last lag was uh, <laughs> the pre-backup <laughs> lag. What <do> you... <laughs> All right, there we go. Backup lag is done. <laughs> I'm stumped by this puzzle. What if I only get to make one choice? <laughs> and that's that's the choice you have to make. My recommendation is to remember the choice that you made. <laughs> because you will probably have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Just take a leap of faith. That's what you should do. Yeah. This is great. I really hope people are having fun in here. I don't think anybody is having as much fun as I am right now. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Just watching people go through. I wish I could follow more people down the rabbit hole <laughs> to tell you the truth all right i'm going to i'm going to turn off being lost is part of the fun <laughs> all right we're back I really, I really wanted to follow. Here's, see, here's in the mine. There's all, another statue of rejuvenation that you can use. So that's okay. Another kind of checkpoint. Which mine is this? The one that's um, that somewhere in the city. Okay. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Ooh. I like. Um, do want to be following people down in there. I just that think like that this this part is really fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got sandstone. We got rock salt down here. Oh yeah, this part's really cool. And every time I come down here. You disgusting pig! <laughs> 
Yeah, and as we said in our it previous reminds streams, me but... of when we were, uh, you know, picking a way out down here. Yeah, it, it, as we said, when we were making this and we were on the stream, this this area was more for fun. Like we wanted people to walk in and go, "Wow, <laughs> like how much work yeah. had to go into this thing." Uh, it was that, a lot of fun to make too. It was just a blast. I love now, that. I, I, lo say I love that... mining. Yeah, I love this room. This is probably one of my favorite rooms. I'm going to take a picture of this room. <laughs> All right. I might come down there and join you. Where's my snipping tool? Let's do that again. Yeah, so this one, the whole mine, so there's there's two things to it, yeah. It's more fun than it is a puzzle, although it, it is kind of a puzzle. Um, but we put a clue that would allow you to solve this whole thing really yes. quickly. Uh, if only you saw the clue. So <laughs> to me, this place was just more about just how crazy it was it was like taking the idea of like what can you do in a mine now and right. how crazy now that, can you make it look and now that you can make buildings in a mine and bridges in a mine like you combine once once they announced bridges in a in mines my mind just went crazy with ideas on what that means and this room was the product of it all yeah This building was just something that was just in my head thinking, can't you make it so it looks like like a building is protruding from a mind wall and you go through it and it ends up being this kind of massive area. So you go yeah. through one of these buildings and it's just sort of, <laughs> it's just huge inside and it leads you to all these different areas. When we first started planning this place out, like in Deed Planner, I was really afraid that there wasn't enough space in our labyrinth. Yeah. I was really afraid. All right, so in order to not give away the stuff, I'm gonna have to go black again. Right. Or else I'm gonna be stuck down here forever. I'm gonna go see how people are doing in the front part. All right, there we go. Okay, so back to the topic at hand. <laughs> Which <Did> one? <laughs> anybody anybody think that it was a bad idea or can play devil's advocate as to why they shouldn't have changed it? Which one? So that your 99, 99? skill doesn't like go down. It's locked. Uh, mm. This game is supposed to not be permanent. How about that? Well, with that argument, you could argue for skill decay. There used to be skill decay. There used to be skill decay. Yeah. So should there still be skill decay? Should so we go back how is, to those So more or less, like, how has the reception been? Here's has the thing. Has it been, like, positive from everybody? I haven't seen a single negative and uh, truly, the number of people that it affects is probably, you know, I mean, what percentage what of people? all characters, What, but what percentage of all characters have a 99 plus skill? I don't know. How many people here have a have a one skill that's above 99? I'm sure we'll get an answer to that. Uh, I have one skill that's above 90 one and i know that you have probably a i just couple. have one no you have 
more than one. No? Pretty sure it's just one. It's just one? Yeah. And, like, we've been playing for enough time that we probably should have more than one, but... Yeah. Absurdity says not one. Um, I I would venture to say, though, that there isn't... There's probably less than 50%, if not less than even more than that, of all people, all characters in Worm. Yeah, it's, it's probably way less than 50. Probably more like 10%. In any case, the amount of people that it affects is very minimal. <laughs> and those people are, I am sure, as appreciative as I am of that update <laughs> and everybody who doesn't have a 99 skill is probably thinking wow when i finally do get that first 99 skill it would be safe and it won't decay due to death yeah you know i can't i can't imagine anybody um uh, complaining about this one yeah i fell <laughs> trying to get up here <laughs> <laughs> And why did I fall? Because I'm carrying too much stuff. Oh, I am carrying a log. Let's let's discard the log. Still got quite a few people in the front area. This is. Let's get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of this water. <laughs> let's see if I can make it up again. I see some people have found clever ways of getting up on top of the tall walls in the front area. Oh, really? They're running along the walls. Nice. Every time That's I try, I uh, end up falling off pretty quickly. Yeah. I, made it... ah, I did it not make that up. That looked <laughs> like I made it up. Didn't it look like I made it up? Well, I'll have to watch the stream. It's uh, <laughs> you're, you're about to get to the top. <laughs> there is that delay, so. Yes, it looked like you nearly <laughs> made it up, <laughs> but not quite. <laughs> Are you hurt? That's why you're hurt. I hurt really bad now. <laughs> I can't even get out. And you're carrying 93 I... weight. What are yeah. you carrying? I don't know this and that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> A log. And then... I guess I'll just be watching people from this angle. <laughs> wait. Listen to signs... the doors. So there's Shop a number... signs of... are eight. Wait. Yes. That's insane. So there's a number of people here, I would assume. They're inside of the big house of Blogtrob. Okay. Which actually doesn't take that long to get down. So I assume that these people have made it to the point where they have to make another choice. And I kind of want to see what people... Uh, would do there and what's great about that choice is that it can change I've made it dynamic so that there's two ways to go and we have the ability to change which way is the correct way and which way is the wrong way and it's at this point fairly devastating what do you mean devastating? If you make the wrong choice at this point, it would send okay. you back to the to the beginning of the city. Okay. Now remember, they've gone through the city, they've gone through the mine, and they've yeah. gone through the part after. But see, here's the thing about getting back to the beginning of the city is that you'll know how to get back. That it, is true. It's not... It's not like the front area where if you get back to the front area beginning, it's like you could be like blindly running through mines and a labyrinth and not really knowing how you got to that last decision, like that last point. And then you take the wrong choice and you're back at the beginning and it could be like mm -hmm. devastating to get through the whole front area again. But with the with the city, I think the, it's it's more um, what's the word? It's like every place is very unique, so you you're it's you easy remember. 
And good remember- news, I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> I made it up. All right, I'm going to go dark here for a second. But yeah, finally out. Can't believe it. So uh, yeah, what other changes happened recently to the game? Right, so um, let me see. Let me see which one is the next one to talk about. Okay, there's a really small one that I think is so important, and that is the blood from Unix now displays which legendary dropped that blood. So what is the importance of that one? Well, it used to be that it doesn't matter which Unique that you got the blood from, it was just called blood. And ah. you, if you went to lots of different Unique slings and collected a whole bunch of blood and didn't label which blood came from which Unique, you would just yeah. have a whole bunch of blood and it would be impossible to tell which Unique it came from until you made the potion. I see. And I know a lot of people who are in that situation. I know Kilroth was in that situation. I asked him because they recently made a new change where two of the bloods got changed. So the red dragon and the blue dragon. I think the red dragon now makes rope making potions and the blue dragon now makes butchering potions. And I asked Kilroth, like, did you did any of the blood that you have in your like collection were they any of the new ones? And he's like, <laughs> he had no idea because all he has is just a big bag full of blood. So now you can see which which uh, legendary it is, and that's that's I think nice, yeah. Big. yeah. It and then stops oh, confusion, sorry, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the big change I think yeah. is the one to the armor, the armor change. All right, that's gonna have to be like a whole, I don't know, <laughs> twenty minutes or something, as you explain to me everything that they. That it, what what was what changed how it affects PvP PVE what it means for armor builders and all all, all that stuff uh, I don't I don't know if you want to do that now I, I'm almost gonna have to ignore the mine or the the puzzle the labyrinth if I did that uh, and there's so well, many people in the residential area right now yes this is crazy so people have made it here and I'm sure working together. <laughs> to look through. Uh, I'm looking at. I'm going to kind of sneak over here. And I'm going to see this. So here. Fabricant is. Looking at a choice. What will he choose? Hmm. Let's sit back and relax. I mean, we could talk later about the details of the armor, but like the general gist of it. Uh, seems to be that they that they they attempted to try to make it so that choosing the best type of armor is a lot less straightforward, hmm. um, which is good because if it's too straightforward, if the best type of armor is too straightforward, then everybody would just choose that one, right? Like if the best type of armor in the game was plate, and it was very clear that it was plate, then everybody would be wearing plate, and there'd be no need for all the rest. So they balanced it so that almost like they narrowed the range of which the armors affect. So like, like for example, before, like if you just wore leather before, mm -hmm. it was very clear that leather was really bad oh, at protecting you? you in comparison to, let's say, plate. Uh, so now they made it so that leather is closer to a, uh. the, the same amount of damage reduction. But there's... The other thing is that the system is so complicated that damage reduction isn't the only thing to be consider considering. Like, for example, if you're in leather, it's a lot easier to dodge. And if you dodge, you completely avoid the whole damage that's income. Right? Whereas it's harder to dodge in plate, so you might get hit more often, but you're going to reduce the damage coming in with each hit. So there's a little bit of, like, give and take. Has it become... Uh, more like certain armor is better for certain situations, so it's not as clear cut anymore. Yes. You have the ability to use, let's say, 
I don't know, like you were saying, leather or uh, studded leather in one situation, and then you wouldn't want to use studded leather in another situation. You'd want to use like leather. Well, is it as bad as that? Like you would need to have multiple sets in your inventory when you're fighting, depending on the situation that you're in. I mean, it. It's hard to say because um, you probably wouldn't be in the moment switching to a different armor set because you're in a different situation. But um, the situations are based on the type of damage that's incoming. So, for example, certain armors will protect you better f from bites mm -hmm. compared to slashes. Right? Like, if I'm. There's a nice table in the news where, like, for example, chain gives you a 65% damage reduction to bite but only 30% damage reduction to crush. So it's very bad against crush damage. So like, for example, a maul coming at you, you mm. don't want to be in ch chain for that. But bites, you chain is really good, <laughs> right? But it's not like you're going to walk up, like, you know, oh no, a hellhound is on me. I better put so, my chain set on. So what you're saying is uh, hellhound is third. there are situations that make it so when you see someone with a particular armor on you would want to change your weapon for it but maybe so like in pvp let's say but right, if PvP. you wouldn't be doing this for armor you wouldn't be changing your armor depending on the type of weapon that somebody's using i'm not going to say you wouldn't because i'm sure there's going to be some people out there who do carry a second is set there of armor. an easy way to switch your armor like are we getting to the point with all these changes where there needs to be a, a feature that's implemented that makes it so you have to uh, have some like uh, armor switch buttons? Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to, I have to do this. Ooh, Fabricant is into the castle. He made it into the castle. Well, he, he made said it into the that... castle. Oh, wait, wait. He yeah. said he's into the castle. Hooray! And then the next thing he says is, "Oh no, <laughs> what does that mean?" <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Armor switch buttons, best idea ever. Yeah. Are we to the, that point where? People ha need to have multiple sets. Hmm. Now, in PvE, I can't see this being in a thing where people switch their armor for specific situations because in PvE, all of the mobs are easy enough to kill. You know, like if you're in the not the most optimal armor set, you still probably win the fight if you have good enough fight skill. And if you didn't have good enough fight skill, putting on the optimal armor set probably won't win you the fight, if you know right. what I mean. Um, it's only in PvP where like those little slight edges might make the difference. Um, so I yeah. can see that I there might like be at some... At some point, we would, need, we would need something like this, I think, with the way that the game is going. You know, have the ability... <laughs> Uh, well, Fabricant, you made it back to the city. And although it might not be the place that you wanted to go, at least you made it to the castle <laughs> more times than some other people that are in this labyrinth right now. So my hat or weird looking hair tip off to you, <laughs> Fabricant. <laughs> You, you have the ability now to go back through all of the city and enjoy yourself once again. Isn't, isn't <laughs> that a great prize? Here, Banco. Banco is right here. He's wounded. Banco, I am going to show you. Yeah, if you Banco are wounded. Delay. I'm going to show you where to go to undo there your wound. There is no mailbox here as far as I can know. The mailbox is only at the very, very beginning of the labyrinth. There is one there. 
Uh, so if you really, really badly wanted a, a mailbox, you can follow these signs that say, if you want to leave the labyrinth, go this way. And that will lead you out of the labyrinth. Then you can work your way all the way around back to the beginning of the labyrinth, get to the mailbox, and then start again. <laughs> there is a there yeah you, so for those of you who are in the labyrinth and are experiencing this issue um, of being damaged there are statues throughout the, the labyrinth that you can click and get fully healed um, there is one right at the beginning of the, the, the city um, you do have to go outside of the portcullis like right where the bells are the right bell here. tower um yeah and you can just right click it and examine and you get healed fully all right <laughs> hey more people and more people are making it through which is great to see uh did anybody make the correct choice and make it to the castle let's find out i'm gonna go again <laughs> look up is there yeah, there here? were quite a few people in that residential area. That's pretty close. Uh, ah, Classen made in. it. I saw I saw you were struggling there a bit, but you made it. Finally. Nice. Anybody walking through here? Yeah, Kroot, I do not um, blame you. I know it is late. For yeah, I know it is late for a lot of people. The labyrinth will still be here. When yep, you wake you up just... and you'll still be in the same spot and you still have the same chance of getting the prize, so. Yep. There are emergency exits. There is one in the city. If you really need to get back to your deed, um, there's an emergency exit right at the beginning of the Labyrinth 2. If you're stuck and need to get out but you could always log out yeah. and just try uh, again next time so my stream thing's telling me that it's been approximately about two hours uh, and basically what that means is I've been wearing this wig way too long and I need to take it off so if you don't <laughs> mind me uh, uh, I'm going to start uh, removing some of this stuff if you guys don't mind <laughs> so one one tip for all the people that are in the front of the labyrinth one tip that i'm going to give you um is that the key is to get like the first thing that you need to do is get yourself into the mines underneath and not the one not the mine entrances that are at the beginning like those ones at the beginning those ones are like obviously easy to find but you got to get yourself through the maze a little bit and then find a way into the underground. <laughs> um, once you do that, then you're going to start seeing clues, like lots of clues along the way there. And keep note I of those clues. I am struggling with this thing. So, oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Don't go that, way. Well, that is true. Go Don't go that way. Don't go that we way. We should have been saying that stuff. <laughs> Explora has made it into the city. Congratulations. We need to go that way. <laughs> Can't hear ya. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's just me being an idiot. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um there are a lot of clues. I did not see anybody in the castle. Doesn't mean that there isn't anybody in there. Uh, if you are in there, let me know. I would really like to go through, go through with uh, with someone and take a look at their experiences in there, because oh, I spent a lot of time making that. Mm. I don't know. There's a lot of people still in there, in here somewhere. I would assume. Oh yes. Not sure where maybe a lot of people are underground hmm? and i think we've broken a record for how many people are watching our stream at a, at a given time 
What does it say my, to you? My screen says 36. I feel like 36. it's different depending on who is exactly like looking at right. it at any given time. Uh, what does yours say? I do look like a drag queen, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> what can you do here? I'm just going to brush my hair. <laughs> it's, it's not working. Uh, oh, my God. So as people are going through this labyrinth here, uh, again, if you are hurt, like like Zagru here, yes, you do not need this cotton, Zagru. You may you walk to over to way. this the statue that's just down the alleyway here. It Don't is possible. To... It is possible Zagru's not watching the stream. It is possible. We need no, to go that for way. sure. Hello, how are you? Hey, Walex. Hopefully, you're uh, somewhere in here. And a retro is confirmed. No one has finished it yet. And none sure of whether someone is working their way through the through the castle right now. I do hear quite a few people going through the big house of Blocktrob. Let's see. Oh wow, that was a big hit on you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the stream, the delayed stream. Unfortunately, um, Son of a troll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that it was okay that you went the wrong way. <laughs> how else are you gonna learn which yeah, way not to go how, next time? How, exactly, right? <laughs> So congratulations, oh you have learned which way not to go again. Good job. You know, <laughs> Co Coper and asked maybe put a sign to mention the regeneration statue. There is a sign. Um, although it's at the very it's, beginning. It's at the beginning. So hopefully, like we're, we're supposed to mention it, uh, and we're hoping that people see it at the beginning. Hello, how are you? Mm hmm. Maybe uh, we should right have entrance. signs. Maybe we should have signs next to each statue. I was thinking of like every statue have signs. There's just there's just quite a few statues. Yeah. And they're all called the same thing. We're about as far as I know to have our first person enter the castle. So I'm going to enjoy this moment here. Now, the castle is also an area that I have not solved yet, personally. It's so funny how you could help build the place. You know, I put so many bricks into that castle, and yet I have no idea how to get through it whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was funny is that even yesterday was it yesterday or maybe yeah maybe it was yesterday i found well two exploits or three no it was mm. two exploits within the castle that if you did something i'm not gonna name <laughs> at the exact part you could make it to the end and i went oh this is not good <laughs> there we go. We got our two feet people making it into the castle. Well done. It's Fab Fabricant and Samul. Well done. Well done. Now the real challenge. You can see the puzzle king up there <laughs> mocking you. And he's saying mm -hmm. saying, "Huh? He's been generous to you guys up until now." 
Yeah. He's not going to be so kind now that you're in his castle. <laughs> so good luck, guys. Uh, and for people that are watching this, let's say in the future or whatever, here is the statue of regenerate a uh, rejuvenation, one of them mm -hmm. here, and there's one of them over here. Statue of rejuvenation. So I believe those are the two that are in the castle, uh, just in case you need them. You're right, those marble walls do look awesome. She's saying you, you fart at the Puzzle King <laughs> from a different level. Do you think your farts are potent enough to reach the Puzzle King's <laughs> level so that it has the full effect of what you want? Or are you concerned more about the sound and less about the smell? <laughs> Anyway, so you can see me walking through the doors. Obviously, I can get through the doors. I can get through fences. Um, hopefully, nobody watches this video and thinks, uh, I'll just follow what you're doing. <laughs> if you choose the wrong one, it's not good. <laughs> it's the best spoiler that you can give. <laughs> right. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And another clue is that there's a clue that will tell you which one to go through. All right, I'm going to take some pictures here. At least I'm going to try. Ah, uh, yes, pictures. <laughs> Every time you say that. <laughs> oh, shoot, pictures? I'm supposed to take pictures? Supposed to take pictures. All right, got a nice one. Well, luckily I can go through all these locked gates. <laughs> Let's do one more picture. Yeah, you d you don't want to tell anybody what you just saw. <laughs> so there was a in the most recent news that retro put out there was also hints at the new priest updates that are coming soon mm -hmm. so excited for this though so you're the priest uh i am definitely not a priest and never have been right. so you would be able to tell you'd be able to tell me exactly what mm, I guess what is the most exciting thing for you in particular about these changes well so far not really much has been revealed I, I, I'm in getting a way the that sense I would understand that, yeah I'm getting the sense that a lot is going to change um, and only a very small sliver of it has been revealed mm -hmm. and that's one small thing that sliver it... that's made you excited? okay yeah, yeah. So there's a couple of things one is uh they're going to get rid of all spells that cost more than 100 favor so mm. life transfer and mind stealer uh those ones are going to be you're going to be able to cast them on your own you're going to need 100 faith mm-hmm and a hundred favor to cast mm -hmm. them, but you'll be able to cast them on your own. That's a big change. That's I haven't seen awesome. one person. I haven't seen one person complain about this yet. The fact that for the longest time, people have been needing two priests to do a, a particular cast. And now they don't need that priest. Right. What are you thinking? There's going to be a lot of people selling their priest alts, that's for sure. Um, but I think that most people are going to be happy with this change. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it's hard to say exactly the ramifications to the economy and, and all sorts of things. We'll have to see how that goes, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice quality of life improvement. Oh, who is that? There you go. Hello, how are you? <laughs> It almost sounds like there's going to be a whole revamp, though, of everything. Like, for example, one thing that they did reveal is how Demise is going to change. So Demise used to be a spell a spell that you would cast onto a weapon. And let's say, for example, if you ha if you cast Animal Des Demise, then it increases the hit chance that you would have to when you're, when well, you're attacking animals. Mm -hmm. So um, now they're going to change it so that Instead of increasing hit chance, critical chance, it's going to mm -hmm. come just like straight damage increase. So now if you have an animal demise and you're hitting an animal with your weapon, it's just going to be a damage increase with every hit that you do. Which is, I think, easier to understand exactly how, what kind of buff you're getting there. Because before it was very, like, it's very uncertain exactly what you're getting when you put a demise on. I was unclear. Of what yeah. a demise did, it would help, but I didn't know exactly what it did. And then we might be getting our first winner. Oh, I'm Let's going to look. try to take a picture here. I, okay. I'm just wondering. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm assuming that we may. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see if I can catch a picture here. I personally am lost. Am I right? Okay, you're in the right spot. Am I wrong? Did I miss it? <laughs> So another thing with the demise is that it used to be that the, there was a dragon's demise and a self healer's demise. Self healer's demise affected when you're attacking things that have the ability to regenerate. Trolls, uniques. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what else. A couple others probably. But mostly the uniques. So people would use that when they went to unique slings. The self healer's demise. But then there was another one called Dragon's Demise, which only affects it when you're attacking dragons only. So there was oh. no reason to ever use Dragon Demise because you could just use the Self Healer's Demise and that would affect all dragons plus all the uniques mm -hmm. plus all trolls and other things. So uh, they changed it so that there wasn't that overlap anymore. Now there's going to be a Legendary Demise. So that one affects all Legendary. Oh. So now you're going to have your weapon that's specifically for Legendary like uh, um, unique fights, like the yeah, the unique mobs, and then mm -hmm. you're gonna have your weapons that are for you know monsters. Anybody I think else. it's a monster's demise. <laughs> I, I see. I am, would you? I would, would you like carry around all these different ones because well, of that I mean, reason alone? If I was the type of person to go to these unique mm -hmm. slings, yeah, I would probably have a specific weapon for uniques. Yeah, I, I mean, I can see that. But would you yeah. have one? So you would you would have like two weapons. Is that all that you would basically need? I mean, a unique one for everything else, or can you specialize even more? And would well, you specialize even more? They did change the other demises so that now there's just a monsters demise, animal demise, legendary demise, and human demise. Yeah. So obviously the human one is for PvP. A monster would be for like all the lava fiends, trolls, and goblins, and those sorts of things. And then the animals demise. Would be the animals. I I think I would probably stick with animals myself. Mm -hmm. I might maybe at some point if I start seeing the benefit for it, I might carry around an animals demise and a monsters demise. But mm -hmm. personally, I'm a I'm a PVEer, so that's really all I'll probably need. 
And I don't usually go to those unique slaying, but if I ever did, I'd probably create a weapon for that too. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> Not quite yet. Not yet. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to restart the game. Somewhere. Yeah, I am getting a little bit of lag too. Uh, uh, like, uh, client. It's just me. But Every yeah, my game it. is uh, pretty well wanting to close itself. So let's just restart it just quickly yep. here. I'm going to do the same. It must be just the number, sheer number of people that are in the zone. Mm. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's almost like it's fine. And then every maybe minute or so it hitches. It's like, yeah. Hitch and then it continues fine for a while. I guess it's uh, a lot of people over there. How are you doing there, Catspur? You in the mm -hmm. you in the first part of the labyrinth or the second part of the labyrinth? One other exciting change that was announced is that jewelry will now be able to be casted on and, and buffed up, and mm -hmm. uh, which is something that, you know, jewelry has been in the game for I don't know how long. For the longest time, it pretty much did nothing. That's true. And then they made it so that you can now see jewelry. I don't know if you remember when that happened. Yeah, yeah. I, that uh... was awesome. Did I, did I ever leave some on? I think I had some on at one point, and now I don't have it. And then they added uh, the rifts, and then that came with it came a whole bunch of jewelry items that were supposed to be special. Um, but for the longest time, they right. were bugged and didn't work. And uh, sometime not too long ago, all of a sudden, they all started working. So there was a revamped really? system. All the uh, rift jewelry items now work as intended huh and how are they intended i mean some of them are meant to uh give you buffs when you're fighting some of them are meant to uh huh i don't even know <laughs> i'll be honest i got a to the one of the rifts that i went to i went to two in total one of the rifts that i went to i got a fist bracelet and i looked it up and what it does is it increases i not mistaken your hit chance when you're fighting with your fists uh. it's either hit chance or damage or crit chance or something but it's a buff to when you're fighting barehanded that's interesting so just a buff that lasts as long as you're wearing it yeah and i think it, with every time that it actually works and gives you a like a little buff or whatever it's supposed to take a quality hit or something like that so eventually it wears out. Oh, I see. But then anyway, the, the most recent announcement is that priests, and this is part of the priest rework, is that priests will now be able to cast onto jewelry items and give them buffs. Now, up to this point, I think the only cast that you could do onto jewelry items that work is no locate and locate. Is that right? Can you can you cast a spell called locate? And a spell that casts that's called no locate. I know no locate is one where you put it on and people will not be able to locate you with the locate spell. Right. Um yeah, it's totally a PvP thing. They use it all the time. PvE ears don't ever really use this spell. Um now you're gonna be able to cast spells using the um what used to be the the deity, what do they call them? The deity demises. 
All right. You know what? I just missed. I missed the ending. You did it. Oh, somebody did it? Congratulations, Fabricant. You Fabricant. beat the Labyrinth. I don't have a picture, unfortunately, of you beating it. And yes, it maybe teleports you, can... you out. Or did it teleport oh. you out? Was it maybe just all a dream? <laughs> huh? I don't know. <laughs> So yes, the the deity demise is like foe's demise and Venora's demise. Now you can cast them onto, uh, or not now, but when this change comes in, you're going to be able to cast them onto rings and, and necklaces, and they're going to give you, each one gives a buff and a debuff. So you're going to have to sort of I see. make hard decisions <laughs> make here. Make your but... choice. Well, what it, what it seems like, for example, just to give one example, like Venora's has a frost buff and a fire debuff. So if you're using, if you do frost damage, you're going to get a buff to that damage. If somebody's doing frost damage to you, it's going to hit for more, mm. I, I think. Anyway, it's something like that anyway. And then the opposite for fire. So you're going to have to make some hard choices there. Sorry, what were you going to say? Well, let's say we were... We were uh, talking about how they're making all these choices. They're going to have uh, added weapons and added armor, uh, kind of buffs and changing the way that the armor works, which makes you want to, I would say, have multiple sets of things at some point. Mm -hmm. So we talked about wanting to have the button, maybe some kind of like profile switch button right. that you could click that would uh, swap out your armor uh, would you want to see if they did that decorative clothing added to this game oh absolutely I mean there already is a lot of decorative clothing They, with the ability to dye your clothes and uh, yeah but totally would be awesome to have decorative clothing stuff that you would want to use inside or in, in certain situations role play situations uh, totally. just everyday living situations stuff that looks cool doesn't stop you from moving let's what, say. what game was it that we were playing where you would have your actual armor profile tab like put it on all your like good armor but then you'd also have a decorative armor and you could have that show in two different games that i played personally that did that the first okay. game was everquest 2 okay i remember the that second game was vanguard saga of heroes so you were able to have your real armor on and you got all the stat buffs and all the effects from the real armor, but you could also put your decorative armor on and it you would character would look like the decorative armor. I would not want that system in this game. Okay. <laughs> as much as it like sounds cool, I was able to be like a halfling ninja in <laughs> like Vanguard, but still be able to use all my bard stuff um, but I feel like what you wear in this game should be displayed and therefore if you're a cook I want to noticeably see that you are a cook mm. if that makes sense so with talking about profile changes what I would want to see is the ability to see or to have all these different kinds of armor, not armor, clothing. And those types of clothing reflect what you are doing. So there would be a set for wood cutting with the wood cutting set of clothing that makes you look like a lumberjack or something like that. Maybe a few okay. different styles and give some kind of benefit to make people want to wear these clothes and mm. that would 
distinguish your character as, you know, a person that's about to go out and chop wood. And it would give that whole diversity to the world. Uh, Vanguard had this. There was clothing. And if you were going to craft, you would switch into your clothing. And I don't know if later or if at the same time they basically made it so there was a clothing uh, character profile that you could okay. equip your your clothing into. So you would always have it equipped in the okay. crafting character profile. And when you started, let's say, chopping down wood, that you would look like it would just automatically change to that clothing. Oh, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. So you wouldn't have to like swap out your clothes. You would just have them all on. And then if you took your hatchet and started chopping wood, you would look like a lumberjack. Yeah. So I don't know how, how people think about that, like having an automatic change of clothing, depending on what you're doing, uh, mm. sort of automatic. Or would you... Hello. <laughs> You'd have to switch people it People have yeah. made it. Electris is going to kill us. us. Well done. Right now? <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> where is she? Uh-oh. Right? There's a death. <laughs> Slain by an aged hen. Aged hen. Aged hen. Why is there so many aged hens? Did somebody spawned lots of aged hens. They make them really, really mad. It's the revenge of the aged hens. <laughs> Truly sorry. But back on topic, what were we talking about? The armor profile. If there were a profile to be added so that you can easily switch between the different uh, clothing options that you would have, the world, I think, would just look better. Mm. This game, when we talk about it, is all about crafting and all about, you know, world building and digging and, like, you know, mining and that sort of thing. But why does everybody look like they're about to go fight a bear? Or fight, like, some epic battle? Right. Why is everyone in chain or plate or, you know, leather? When mostly what you're doing is none of, like, you're not fighting most of the time. True. Yeah, I, why you know, I did... Why can't a cook have like an apron and look like they're a cook a big chef's hat i did have the thought at one point to have like a deck like um you know another set of clothes that i would put on in my inventory um i never got around to doing it (laughs) the problem with all of those different kinds of different kinds of clothing would be that you would get a ton of different kinds of clothing right you would have like a set for so many different things it can become overwhelming so that's where there would need to have some kind of uh, organization system in place with it with the ability to quickly switch right right yeah the way that the system is now like the inventory system it would be a nightmare to switch to your other sets of armor you could have an outfit based on titles. Like titles that you earn, I would assume. Okay. Uh, this is absurd. Would you, is that something that idea. you would earn the outfit? Or you would earn the right to wear that outfit mm. if you reached that title? If you got the title, you can now wear this outfit. Or is it that if you switch to that outfit, it, or switch to that title, it automatically gives you that outfit? Where would you get the outfit from? Right. It. I almost do feel like it would have to be like you'd have to craft that outfit. It's not like you just get it as a prize. Earning titles equal unlocking new clothing pieces. Uh, so like earning a title would unlock the ability for you to create those clothing pieces as an armor smithing maybe uh, you unlock the ability to equip them so this is a whole other system that i've had for 
that I've, we've talked about for a long time, and that's, okay, Worm has been a game where you get, you get the ability to basically craft almost anything at any level. It might be harder at some levels than others, but they don't stop you from creating it. For most of the things in this game, there has been some changes uh, since I've said that. There's some items that are higher level or that unlock at specific levels, but for the most part, you can create most things in this game. Um, so we theorized a long time ago, I can't remember, a few years ago, what would happen if there was items that were only available at higher levels that unlocked a specific level. And there are some things that are like that. Somehow you died by an aged chair. <laughs> <laughs> I did? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I would like to see this chair. <laughs> so I can give it a piece of my mind. Um, so before, it's 5 a.m. So Catsper is going to give up for tonight. Come back tomorrow for sure. Get a few hours yes. of sleep and come back. Yeah. The labyrinth will be waiting for you. Thank you for coming. Maybe you'll finish it on one of your streams and I'll uh, check yeah, maybe, in. Maybe I'll wake up and I'll uh, see that you're streaming and then I'll uh, streaming the labyrinth. You never know. That'd be fun How to wake up to. How do you do the teleport? to Vrox. So from any starter town on Xanadu, uh, you'll find a, a sign that's been placed by a GM. You can examine it and it will take you to Vrox. I've been uh, slacking about looking. Has anybody else beat the castle? Yes, we, we did we did know that this castle could potentially take Oops. a person three hours or more. Or uh, we ten minutes. I yeah. mean, oh we well, <laughs> and we are at the two and a half hour mark. Two and a half hours. Um, Approximately so yes. The fact that Fabricant beat it just after two hours had passed. That that was fast. Like we're estimating three hours or more. Um, yeah, so I think a lot of people that started at that time they're they're going through our estimates pretty good. Yeah, that. and then, and then there's also a lot of people in Europe who are going through sleep deprived. Yeah, <laughs> so See, maybe maybe go to sleep, come back, uh, you know, with a fresh mind, and you'll uh, you'll be able to yeah. beat it much faster the next time you log in. Yeah. But yeah, I love. I do love the way that the castle ended up. Uh, yes, it was it was tough to design it. I must say, even with the tools like uh, Deed Planner, even with uh, mapping it out in my head, mapping it out on paper, and then mapping it out in the in the Deed Planner, looking at it, trying to figure out where all the puzzles were going to be, and then trying to figure out. Uh, all the loopholes that you could get around it was it was just really I think one of the toughest things that I had to design once it was mm -hmm. done the building it was just I don't know was was just amazing just getting it all up there building it like wall by wall we have a bunch of videos of us building it but a lot of it took place not on our streams because it took right. forever to do it uh, and we've been patching it up ever since, even though I went through this excruciatingly kind of painful process of building it, of, of mapping it out. There was there was a lot of loopholes that to, had to kind of patch up. And now that I see it and the end result of it, it just not only looks nice, but it's just 
it just seems so cool to to watch all of you guys go through it right now. Ah, uh, Mint has found the corpse of Puzzleton. You cry over the corpse of Puzzle. Puzzle? What? What? <laughs> no, no. Puzzleton beat it, didn't he? Ooh, Enki made it to the castle, or not to the castle, to the uh, city. And he's ringing the bell. Nice. Yay! You will be. How do I cheer? You never have to go through the labyrinth again. Well <laughs> so how, how, how's the city looking? Guys running through. Huh? There's a couple of people who are right up the top. If you just made it to the castle and you're watching the stream, you can click on this statue just outside of the the gate and heal yourself right up. You don't need to use the cotton. Yeah, this one right here. Ooh, I'm getting that hitching leg. So now the question is, now that the labyrinth is done, what do we do next? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to enjoy the labyrinth for, for a while, watching people go through it. I think I'll have a lot more fun watching people go through it when I'm not recording and in, uh, you know, makeup. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, because I'll, I'll be able to engage more and just have fun with all, with all you guys just going through it. Uh, and then after that, you know what? I think that I would love to just go through the lab or go through uh, our old stomping grounds. Right. I think that yeah. is what I really would love, love to do. And I'd love to do it. Something that I would love to do it while streaming. Right, I uh, me too, totally. And I think that that's like our next little thing. I can't imagine that lasting nearly as long as the labyrinth. <laughs> what, four, um, four, <laughs> three, four years? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think so. But <laughs> you know, this, this is the type travel. of game. This is the type of game that I think you need breaks from. At least I have felt that I need to breaks from it. And uh, like, I'll, I'll go really hard for a while and then burn myself out and take breaks and play other games and then come back. And go hard to, at this game again. Um, and I know you're the same way. I think in this labyrinth here, we have taken probably three or four breaks within those three or four. Like every year or so, we take a good break. And it, and it shows mm -hmm. also in our streams. Like we'll stream for a good solid amount of time and then we'll, we'll break um, and then we'll come back. And I think that's just the nature of this game. You know what? The nature of this game is that you can basically do anything. And I yeah. decided that I wanted to build a giant labyrinth one day. <laughs> and we did it. Here we are. Like three, almost four years later, we have a lot of people going through it. A lot of work went into it. Uh, mm -hmm. At this point, I want to just enjoy this moment with all of you guys enjoy this moment just watching people enjoy the labyrinth and I don't know I don't know what else to say other than I am just thankful that all of you guys came out I'm thankful that absolutely the that uh, you know retro and the worm team came out and supported it they they made it into a big event bigger than I thought it would be and hopefully that the labyrinth will be around for people to enjoy. I would love to just keep a character here forever and just <laughs> log in every now and then, you, see you if somebody's will. going through, and then just sort of pretend that I wasn't the one that created this thing for a while with, with them. 
because that that is probably the best thing to do hey bloody drongo in our chat how are you doing you have to come down and come to the labyrinth at some time absolutely oh and thanks to um look who it is is it was it saruman i think it's saruman who who designed the uh the prize yes Ooh, Electris made it. Our punishment, <laughs> she says, you guys need to stay awake until I'm out. This is your punishment. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have to watch, we have to watch as you go through, huh? <laughs> Can we do it <laughs> off the, off the stream? <laughs> Electris lets out a long trade of curses involving <laughs> Feyran, his family, and his relatives. <laughs> sounds like you're enjoying it right now so uh, <laughs> I will let you get back to your enjoyment of our of our labyrinth <laughs> like everybody else here Hello. Hello. hmm well done so next to Electris's name Electris you have a something that says Electris the 16th diva what is that? Is that from meditation? Anybody know? The 16th Diva. That sounds pretty um, impressive. <laughs> Fabricant's going back through it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, once you know the way... Yeah, once know, you know the uh, way. <laughs> All those choices, right, become a lot less hard to make if you already know what they are. But <laughs> here's the thing. Did you remember when I said, remember when I said that I can change one of the choices on the fly? Right. I could make it so, yes, you went through it once where the choice was left, and then you come through it again, and now the choice is right. And I can even change the clue to to make it work with that as well. And I don't know, maybe, just maybe, I just did that. <laughs> so the 16th Diva is level 16 path of love that is absolutely insane what does it take to get to level 16 on the meditation path whatever it is that's insane a lot of meditation yeah. oh somebody's <laughs> somebody's in the house of doors was it is it the big house of blood Blob nog? Blog trob. Blog blog trob. <laughs> I really want to follow somebody through this. Um <laughs> to follow Electris and Tristan. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now that I, I don't know where Is building the goblin barracks. How many bricks do you feel like went into this place? If you had to count every kind of brick, hmm. I would definitely say less than autumn twilight. Although it's hard to say because bridges do take a lot of bricks did a lot of bridges um hmm how many bricks went into this place i don't even know <laughs> don't know. would you say over or under 100 
thousand. If I had to guess, I'd probably guess under, but not by that much. I, I'm going to make a guess at 80,000 bricks and mortar. Anybody have any guesses? <laughs> Do you know the answer? I don't even think we kept track. Can you find that information out from uh, from Deed Planner anymore? Wouldn't it be cool if you can like walk up to your settlement token and find out? It'll tell that you kind of how much <laughs> yeah that kind of information how many bricks and mortar are in the structures on the deed and who were the ones that put in all of those like <laughs> yeah what percentage griffith put in <laughs> two percent twenty thousand <laughs> bricks <laughs> oh the actual number of bricks yeah. and mortar yeah <laughs> I remember that pylon that was on our deed in, in Autumn Twilight, mm -hmm. where I put in like one brick after like 50 attempts and said, forget it, I'm done. <laughs> and then at the end on the list of like how much percentage I put into that thing was like a fraction of a fraction of a percent. <laughs> I wonder if that's still there. That's the one thing like stuff like that. Is is the pylon still there that we built? Is the uh, the pillar still there that we built? Remember we built the pillar? We built right. uh We built at least one of those col colossus colossi. Yeah. I don't know. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I haven't we I, haven't been back since we left Autumn Twilight. Yeah, we haven't been not even once. Back. But but I Let did alone... get a message from a GM about the pylon. Really? You never Somebody... told me that. What? <laughs> it was How long at some ago point. was this? This was well after it fell. Uh-huh. Um but I still think I was on a winter's night in Xanadu. Okay. And I th and they were asking whether or not we'd mind if it got moved. Or something, something. I can't oh, remember exactly somebody, what it was. You think somebody deeded over it? Yeah, somebody put a deed on uh, over it. Um, I think that that deed is gone now. But at the time, somebody was trying to deed, and the pylon was in, in the way. In that, this was before the change they made to the those things. Those what are they called? Epic structures. I think now you can move them, or there's a mechanism to do something about them. Oh, I see. Yeah. But before there was no mechanism and the GMs had to deal with all this as issues. I got contacted by somebody and I said I, I didn't mind if it got moved or destroyed. I can't remember what it was. It was moved or destroyed moved or something. Or destroyed? All that work and it's destroyed? No. <laughs> <laughs> Couple more people making it into the city. Do we have any more pylons? I never even thought about that. Because initially we made maybe 20 of them. Like just right. the starting of them. Right. Wait, no, Where wait. There, there is one in the, There's one in the mine, isn't there? Here? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even oh, realize I, I made that. Oh, pylon. That's the pylon, right? <laughs> Not the pylon. Right. Sorry, we didn't make... It was the... Not uh, the pylon. The You're other one. The one that looks like a pillar. The one that looks like that very, very tall. Let's see. What are all the epic uh, items that you can make? It's not the pylon. the other one the tall the tall statue Oblique. obelisk there it obelisk. is obelisk there you go yeah there it is no wait it's not the obelisk <laughs> it is the no, then it, it is, is the obelisk so yeah, yeah obelisk. so i i made one in the in the mine i didn't make one i just uh started it yeah. to get the graphic right that's the best then, thing about those is that you don't actually have to finish them to get the graphic yeah you just, you just have to be close to it to see it that's all right
Ah, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, so let's go back into the castle. How many people are still in that castle? <laughs> How many people made it to the castle? We still have lots of people entering the city oh, area. Picture. I'm gonna take a picture. I know there's probably uh, others taking picture, but here you are. Don't move. <laughs> Hello. Can I make it up? Let me make it up. Oh, I can't make it to the other side of here. Okay, this is the best I can do. I'm gonna go, go over to the. I'm gonna reverse engineer this. Go to the very end. All right, everybody, stay straight. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm do a good spot. I'm gonna try to bring this up. All right, if you need to wave, do it now. So there is one thing about this place um, in the event that you finish it a second time. I don't know if we should say. Do we say? Yeah, yeah, Hello. we should say. How are you? So when you finish it the first time, you All click right. on I a thing it, and guys. it teleports you yeah. out. But the problem is, is that that teleporting mechanism also gives you the prize. So the second time that you go through it, that teleporter won't work. Mm. And then you get stuck in that last building. So there is a alternate, there is an alternate sign that's been hidden in there. So if you're stuck in that building, there's an alternate sign that will get you out. It just won't give you a prize. The, the issue is that if you, let's say, get to the end your very first time and accidentally click that alternate ending, you're going to get teleported out without the prize. So make sure you don't do that. <laughs> How mad would someone be <laughs> if they made it to the end and then accidentally clicked the sign that they shouldn't be that's hidden in the house and didn't get the prize? Right. But luckily it's hidden enough that I don't think anybody's going to see it unless you're stuck in here and you're like, How do I get out? You search every nook and cranny. Then you'll get out. Sort of just a fail safe. <laughs> and was it you oh, who put classic. this pig in here? It was. Um, look at all these people going through. Was it me? I don't know. Was it me? <laughs> was it you? <laughs> Hello, you know me and pigs. You? Yeah. Well done. The babe. Somebody else? No. <laughs> oh, I. S oh, it's fabricant again. <laughs> He's just taunting everybody. <laughs> Hold air. This is where we have to go. How do we make it there? Could you logically figure it out? just by backtracking. Lovage. Well, as I said, I still haven't beaten the lab, the, the castle area. So I have no idea. I might have to log on to our <laughs> tune here that is able to experience the labyrinth try it out. All right, guys. If you're just beating the castle, I'm going to try to take a picture of you. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go through. If I can figure out a Yay. way back. Congratulations to everyone that has made it through. And congratulations more to the people that are still trying to make it through. Because well you're done. still, you know, having fun. Sticking with it. Sticking with it. All right, I'm going to make it here. Anybody here that needs uh, a picture taken, I'm going to give it a shot. Well ah. done.
Maybe I should just stand here for a while. <laughs> I like the yeah, chat and local. People are starting to help each other out. Yeah. Trying to figure it out. A little bit, I mean, without giving it away fully. Mm -hmm. But it's good. People are working together. <laughs> anyway you know what it's been over three hours has it been over three hours almost three hours not quite yes but it's getting getting there you got this is about the time that we said approximately that the average time it would take to get out would be around this possibly close uh, to now it's hard I think to say this is a good time to say uh I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying doing this stream and all that stuff but i really <laughs> really want to get to experiencing this with someone in a way that i can't do while well my while my camera's on. Right, because you give away the, the way that it yeah. <laughs> clues. So I want to say it, it has been four years, almost four years. A lot of hard work went into this thing. Now that it's done and we did this, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It's like a... I don't know how to call it, but you know, a fret like a. It's the end of the labyrinth. It's going to be the beginning of the next stage in our worm uh, life. So it's an exciting time. I agree. I want to just say thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for I guess have watched this journey with us through the beginning stages of the labyrinth through uh going through the the planning and and i think we even have like videos of us going through deed planner and then we've got videos of us digging and mining and uh, <laughs> building and we even have a video of us going through the labyrinth somewhere with with Buddha. Right. Yeah. And this this was years ago. <laughs> Before he was the, the lead worm dev. And we have uh, just so many videos about this labyrinth over the years. And uh, just the fact that uh, it's finally done is just, is just kind of amazing. Just this amazing feeling. Thank you, everyone, for being with us during the time that we could uh, have this experience. What is next? I think a lot of stuff, but I th first, <laughs> I think we need a vacation and that vacation needs to start, I think in deliverance. Yeah. And we don't mean a vacation from Worm, we need a vacation in Worm. Yeah, we want we're going to pack our bags and we're going to set sail maybe sometime in our next stream. So thank you for everyone for joining us. I'm going to go have fun in our, in our labyrinth. I don't know about you, Adam. Me too. But I'm going to run around with you guys off the screen. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for following Jetson. Uh, we will see you guys in the game and we'll see you guys around. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. I'm going to wash my face. <laughs>